Hey guys, Andy with Fathom Offshore. We're with uh, Tom from the Bangarang Sport Fishing. So today we're gonna talk uh, a little bit about pulling dredges off of a center console. So we get this question a lot. It's a really good question. Um, and there's a lot of different answers and variables, but let's kind of talk about what we do specifically. So one thing right out of the gate is um, when you're pulling off of a center console, weight is a really important issue, whether it's weight of your, uh, your fish weight, your trolling lead, uh, really how you're getting the dredge down and the weight and drag of the dredge itself. So uh, one thing that we do here is what we consider to be our uh, bucket dredge. So this is a 12 by 12 um, dredge frame bucket dredge that we use that's really perfect for center console setups. There's not a lot of dra uh, drag in the water. It still gives you a really good profile. It looks like a lot of um, kind of, you know, squids or fleeing bait fish um, and really kind of has the overall effect of a large dredge, just in a really small kind of compact scale. So it's easy to store, it's easy to pull. Um, and speaking of pulling, there's a, a number of different ways to kind of pull these guys off the center console. Uh, the most common I would say is, is likely a hand line. So um, a lot of the time we have guys that are pulling these things on 500 pound monofilament that's spliced to some type of rope. Cause you know, it's pulling on wet 500 pound monofilament. It's damn near, yeah. damn near impossible it's to grab onto. So, so putting it to some type of rope that you can cleat off behind your boat is, is perfectly acceptable and a really good way to, um, to kind of do that. Uh, also, there's a number of different options on the market for um, dredge booms. So uh, I know some people that pull them off of downriggers. Um, you really just got to make sure that you're bracing your downrigger the right way. And you, you got to be really cautious of putting that stress and strain on, on your equipment. So um, paying attention to that and those boom arms that are now designed specifically for that are another good option. Um, it's a five to six or seven foot um, uh, kind of metal arm that, that has like kind of a front cleat brace to it as well. So, um, so those are another cool way to do it. Um, and as far as weight to get the dredges down, uh, we do offer four pound fish weights. Um, and we also know a lot of people that use uh, ball bearing um, uh, trolling bars as well, similar to your high speed Wahoo stuff. It's mm -hmm. It's getting you the weight without really the drag because mm -hmm. that's really the issue. The weight will keep it down, um, but it's the drag that's kind of the bear when it comes to getting yeah, the dredge it back brings in. It up. Yeah, hundred percent. So, um, how far are you typically running a dredge kind of behind, you know, one of your boats? Um, for something like this on the center console, I wouldn't think you need to run it too far. Um, the most important thing is going to be making sure it's far enough back and far enough out. I know that's tough with, with a center console, but just keeping your dredge in the blue water, in that clean water, mm -hmm. and keeping it far enough or, or close enough in to where you can still see the dredge and see what's in the dredge or behind the dredge. Um, and yeah. also being able to get it in quick enough if you do get a fish in the dredge, that's very important. So. Yeah, it's not like a, a bait that's gonna sit there and pull line when you get a fish in it. So if you can't see it, then you're not effectively fishing uh -huh. fishing the dredge. And that's, yeah. that's really the big thing. We're seeing on center consoles a lot of the time that that distance varies, but anywhere between, I would say 18 to, to 28 feet, typically that 20 mm -hmm. foot distance is, is usually a good kind of benchmark to start with. And if you can't see it, you need to bring it closer. Um, and so hopefully this information helps. Uh, we're always available by phone or if you got additional questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, we know that all boat setups are a little bit different. Everyone's fishing a little bit different method, but um, we're always happy to help and kind of help dial it in based off your specific needs. So give us a call. Thanks so much.